That's lounging. Hey there, my name is Tim, and I work here at Spoonflower on the operations team. And today, we're gonna learn how to make the coziest pair of pajama pants you've ever lounged in, using the Jasper pattern from Artemis Clothing and Sprout Patterns. Sprout Patterns is actually one of Spoonflower's sister brands. They offer indie sewing patterns that you can combine with Spoonflower designs to create customized cut and sew projects. Spoonflower then prints the pattern directly onto fabric. It's quick, easy, and painless. Since we're using the Jasper pattern for this tutorial, you'll have to purchase it before we get started. All right, y'all, let's get lounging. For this project, you'll need your Jasper pattern fabric from Sprout, scissors or a rotary blade, measuring tape, pins, twill tape, and a sewing machine. Start by cutting out your pattern pieces. Your Jasper pattern includes two front pant legs, two back pant legs, two waistband pieces, and a fly facing. We want our pants to look and feel professional, so we're going to edge finish the seams. We're going to zigzag stitch, but you can use a serger as well. Go ahead and edge finish the side seams, the crotch seams, and the inseam. Only edge finish the fly on the left pant leg. Leave the fly on the right leg alone. On the left front pant leg, snip the seam allowance on the bottom of the fly. Fold the fly on the left pant leg over at the crotch so that the wrong sides are together. And stitch down a fourth of an inch seam allowance along the curve of the fly. Pin and stitch the fly facing on the right pant leg using a fourth inch seam allowance. Clip along the curve in the seam allowance of the fly facing up to the stitching line. This allows the seam to lie flat. Turn the fly right side out and press. Place the front leg and back leg together so that the right sides are together and pin. Stitch the inseam and side seams of both legs together. Turn one of the pant legs inside out. Insert the right side out pant leg into the inside out pant leg so the right sides are together. Match up the center back waist, side seam, inseam, and fly, and then pin in place. Starting from the crotch seam, stitch from the bottom of the fly all the way around to the center back waist. Line up the left and right fly so that the side with the fly facing, the right side, laps behind the left side and the two sides meet at the center front. Stitch across the fly one inch above the bottom of the fly. Pivot the fabric 90 degrees and sew down to the bottom of the crotch. This should resemble a triangle shape. All right, let's make the waistband. Since we're using twill tape, you'll need to stitch two buttonholes that are a fourth of an inch taller than the width of your twill tape. To determine the location of the buttonholes, measure 3 fourths of an inch up to the bottom edge of each of the two notches on the front waistband pieces. These will be the openings where the drawstring comes out and ties. With the right sides together, stitch the front and back waistband pieces at the side seams. Fold the waistband so that the wrong sides are together. And press. Now it's time to pin the waistband and pants right sides together, aligning the lower edges of the waistband with the top edge of the pants. Make sure the buttonholes are facing the front center of your pants and the raw edges are up. 
stitch the waistband to the pants. Now turn your waistband up, press flat, and top stitch your seam allowance from the waistband to your pants. To finish up, we'll need to quickly hem the pants. We'll start by folding the bottom edge of each pant leg a half an inch and then pressing. Then fold the edge over another inch and press so that the raw edge is concealed. Then top stitch the folded edge. To make it a bit easier to feed the twill tape through the waistband, poke a safety pin through one side of our twill tape. Be sure to give yourself enough twill tape to tie your pants. Then push it through one of the buttonholes and inch your way around the waistband by pushing and pulling the safety pin. And that's it. Hold them up, admire them, and put them on. But be careful, you might never take them off again. Alrighty y'all, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you've all enjoyed it. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely wearing my PJ pants right now. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more projects like this. Happy lounging!